Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Tiba and here on my channel I discuss recent missing person cases. If you're into that type of content, go ahead and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Today's case was initially focused on Armani Kelly, a 27-year-old man missing from Detroit, Michigan. In the past few days, however, it's come to light that two other men connected to Armani are also missing. The two men are 31-year-old Dante Wicker and 31-year-old Montoya Gibbons. All three have been missing since the night of January 21st. On the night of their disappearance, Armani, Dante, and Montoya were all headed to a place called Lounge 31. Lounge 31 is a private event space in Detroit, so basically it's like a space or a venue that can be rented out by people or companies to hold various events. The reason why they were headed to that venue is because Armani is a rapper and was supposed to perform at the lounge that night. One or both of the other men may have also been performing, but I'm not 100% sure about that. As far as I can tell though, they didn't perform as a group or anything, so they would have been performing individually. Prior to his disappearance, Armani had been promoting this event on his social media. I'll include a picture of that flyer here. I believe it was a birthday celebration, and as you can see, the performance is by Marley Whoop, which is what Armani goes by. To get to the event, Armani had to drive over 100 miles from his house in Oscoda. He picked Dante and Montoya up on his way. However, at around 7.30 p.m. that night, Armani told his fiance that due to issues with the equipment, he actually wouldn't be performing at the lounge that night. If Dante and Montoya were also supposed to perform, I'm assuming that this means that their gigs were cancelled as well. Armani told his fiance that he was going to try to find somewhere else to perform, potentially an open mic. Unfortunately, Armani was unreachable after that, and there hasn't been any phone activity since that night. In fact, it's not even certain that the men actually made it to the venue. After not hearing from Armani for over 24 hours, his mother, Lori Kemp, decided to report him missing. I was able to speak to Lori, and honestly, my heart breaks for her and her family. The other two men's families soon realized that they hadn't heard from Dante or Montoya either, which ultimately led to them being reported missing too. After realizing he was missing, Armani's mom was able to use OnStar to track and locate his vehicle. When found, the car was muddy and the license plate was missing. It also turns out that the car had traveled to three separate locations in Warren. On Monday, it was tracked to Life Church. On Tuesday, it was near the Huntington Club Apartments, and on Wednesday, near the Londonderry Downs condos. I'll include a map here, but all three locations are within a 10-mile radius of Lounge 31 and aren't really far from each other, so the car didn't really go far. I also want to highlight that since these movements occurred days after Armani was last heard from, it can't be certain that he was the driver. So what could have happened, and where are Armani, Dante, and Montoya? Before we get into theories, I want to provide you with some background information because it could be relevant to the case. Armani, Dante, and Montoya all have criminal records. In fact, they all met while serving time in prison. There are also rumors that at least one of these men had gang affiliations, and it's a serious possibility that these affiliations could have something to do with their disappearance. Obviously, I don't agree with these actions and affiliations, however, it doesn't mean that they don't deserve to be found. A few days before they disappeared, Armani went live on Facebook. Many people have theorized that this live could hold the answers for what happened to Armani, Dante, and Montoya. I'll include snippets from that live in a moment, but first I want to share my perception of the video. In the beginning of the live stream, Armani seems to be throwing shade at certain people and naming aliases. After he speaks for a few minutes, a few other men join his live. They talk for a bit and even joke around. However, towards the end of the video, the men who join the live stream seem to be agitated with Armani and they ultimately end up leaving. Again, that's just my interpretation of this video, but I'm going to play it for you and you let me know what you think. Man, what's the deal with y'all, man? What's good? Nigga, just tap it in right quick with y'all, man. Try to see what's up. But, uh, man, for real, for real, I'm really trying to figure out, like, is niggas, is everybody not, we just not going to say if niggas talk, man. If you know if a nigga talk, we just not talk about it. That's what we doing now. You know what I'm saying? For that shit feel like the way. For some of these niggas be out here right in your face. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I just be seeing shit, bro. I seen some stories. I'm like, man, we gonna keep playing like this, dog? You know what I'm saying? And 
You know what I'm saying? If anybody take that shit personal, that shit what it is, you feel me? I don't be feeling that shit. I ain't got your paperwork, but I know what I know. And that nigga try to put it on another nigga. Uh, he try to put it on another nigga. The nigga named Debo Money. Uh-uh. We said, there you go right there. I'm talking about Debo, man. That nigga, he try to put it on Debo Money, though. The nigga ain't want no smoke. Hey, you remember that shit, Scott? You already told. It don't matter, nigga. This shit don't matter, man. Nah. Uh, he's blood. He's blood money. OG blood money, nigga. What's up? Oh, uh, I ain't never ran into you, bro. Yeah, I ain't ran into you, nigga. I, I know why you don't. Yeah. You say, uh, uh, we, man, I'm trying to pull up at your shit or some shit. Because I'm about to, I'm going I'm to end up picking up Jug, man. I'm going to say, each one shit. I said, I'm going to end up picking up Jug. You about to, when, when you come down yeah. there? Yeah. You gonna pick up Jill? Yeah, I ain't got time for that. Talk about all black cops over here, bro. Nigga, we don't do new. You still playing? You still playing? Shoot my bang bang? No, no, in real life though. <laughs> that shit really became real life. Oh, dude, come on, man. You move, you move, you move from bold as hell over there. That's that. I'm, no, I'm, I ain't that, that's that VVM shit. Oh, you said it. That's that bad guy shit. That's, uh, oh yeah. I'm what? saying though, you, oh, yeah. you 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 putting on for them niggas. You, I you, almost you, almost put my hands up. Them niggas, niggas, niggas be, be a violation. No, no sir. Damn, no, no sir. violation coming. Next time, next time I watch your Come podcast, correct, man, bro. you better have a, a fan eye. Nigga, nigga, next time I see nigga. your post, the next post, y'all better post my shit. Got your ass beat for Stop. that and joint. Who? Who? Tell nigga how you would have got a big violation for that. You would have had a big fat eye. Big red nigga, eye. Nigga, nigga. Shit away, Come on. Don't get mad. All right, bro. Bro, bro, we gone, bro. I'm going to catch up on you. Down, down, bro. Again, that's just my interpretation of what happens in the video. If Armani had a target on his back due to this live stream or for whatever reason, it's possible that Dante and Montoya could have unfortunately been collateral just for being with him. On the other hand, maybe Armani wasn't the only target. Maybe all three men were. It seems odd that they were all scheduled to perform at the same venue that night. Because like I said, as far as I can tell, they're independent artists, not a group. However, I have been at venues where multiple artists do perform, so it is possible. But it's almost too convenient that they were all booked that night and that the gig was ultimately cancelled. It makes me wonder if this whole thing could have been a setup to lure the men to come to Detroit. Unfortunately, Armani's mother believes that he's no longer alive. As you guys know, I always try to remain optimistic, so I hope the men do come home safe. However, I have to admit that it's hard to see a situation where they all willingly choose to leave their families and disappear together. Regardless of what happened though, their families deserve to know and to get answers. If you have any information at all, please call the number in the description below. You can also contact Crime Stoppers and leave a tip anonymously. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.